Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming our guest of honor, Miss May Chu, and special guests. Good afternoon to our guest of honor, Miss May Chu. Professor Lawrence Boo, Chairman of School Management Committee, and other members of our School Management Committee. Our Principal, Ms. Pang Wee Mian, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I'm Zoe, and she's Priyadashini. Welcome to St. Margaret's Primary School's Green Dot Day Come Concert, Almost Fairy Tales. Green Dot Day is a highly anticipated annual event organized by our Parent Teachers Association, the PTA, to provide a good time bonding for staff, parents and pupils. Since 2014, the school takes over to organize Green Dot Day Come Concert on alternate years. PTA supports the school strongly on different areas of the concert. The concert showcases the many talents of our pupils. Our dance groups, music ensemble, and choir have participated in this year's Singapore Youth Festival and obtained outstanding awards. These awards would not have been possible without the hours of hard work put in by our staff, trainers, coaches, parents, and pupils. We would like to acknowledge our appreciation to each one of them for their contribution. We have also been training our primary one pupils in public speaking so that they can be confident and eloquent speakers at an early age. We are pleased that a group of them will be performing a nursery rhyme segment for us later in the concert. The pre-tools will also be performing a dance sport item which they have learned as part of their enrichment program. In acknowledging the stellar performance of our pupils over the years, we would like to thank God for our present and past school leaders who have been visionary in planning the programs and activities of the school. This afternoon, we would like to honor one of them. She is our guest of honor, Ms. May Chu. Miss May Chu joined the school in 1963 as a teacher and moved up to become the head of science department. She later served as the principal for 16 years and retired in 2003. Miss Chu is an exemplary school leader whose endless passion and energy for the education of children is admirable. Please sit back as we watch a presentation on Miss Chu's years on St. Margaret's Primary. Today, we would like to pay tribute to another one of our long-serving ex-principals, Ms. May Chu. Ms. Chu served in St. Margaret Primary for 41 years. She started first as a teacher and was appointed the science coordinator in 1975. In 1985, she took over as the vice principal and subsequently became the principal in 1987 until her retirement in 2003. As a principal, Ms. Chu had initiated various activities which included the Speaking English Through Listening and Practice project, various enrichment programs, and the many activities for the 150th anniversary celebrations, such as the Open Day Come Exhibition. Ms. Chu established a sense of loyalty and belonging through our school symbols such as the school crest, school song, school hymn, and school motto. The school creed was also introduced during her leadership. Our very own items like the school bag, hat, socks, harbour sack, and umbrella were made exclusively for our pupils and sold only in St. Margaret's Primary to establish a sense of identity and pride. She also initiated the Founders' Day dinner, which she called Gathering of the Clan. Her main objective was to gather ex-students to meet at least once a year. She thought there was no better day than 16 November. 
Miss Chu is also deeply spiritual and committed to fulfilling the dreams of the early missionaries to provide a balanced, holistic education at St. Margaret's. She believed that at St. Margaret's, the pupils should receive a truly all-round education to develop the whole person, body, soul, and spirit. She had maintained a high academic standard at the school, but above it, she also felt that the school's role is to consistently prepare the girls to take their roles in society as good citizens, wives, and mothers. Ms. Chu found joy in seeing changes in the pupils over the years and in knowing that she had a part in molding lives. As she had put it, it is very satisfying to be able to help pupils, parents, and teachers who go to her for counseling. The year Miss Meiju stepped into Sir Margaret's Primary was 1963. She became principal in 1987. Being an unassuming and humble person, it was always a great smile or good morning for anyone she met, whether they were teaching or non-teaching staff or even the security guards. She was very particular about writing and speaking good English, hence project itself. Speaking English through listening and practice was introduced. I can recall during one context time, one of the issues brought up was the consonant of the age. She said, don't make others sound like an other, which drew roars of laughter. My appreciation and heartfelt thanks to Miss Meiji, who brought me to Christ and helping me to grow spiritually. She was such a blessing to the school and all around her by her unwavering care and dedication to education and the school. Her thoughts, words and deeds were exemplary of one who was charitable, patient, devoted and humble as what our school motto says. Charity, patience, devotion. Thank you, Ms. Chu, for your love and care. In late 1987, I made a phone call to St. Margaret's Primary School to ask if there was a vacancy. Ms. Chu took the call and immediately informed me that the place was mine. Remember, on every 28th of December, the staff would be invited to her house. We would have a wonderful time singing carols and enjoying good food. It was a great time of bonding. Miss Meiji was my principal when I was a pupil of SMPS in the late 1980s to early 1990s. As pupils, my friends and I remember her as being a lady who spoke well. She would always say the morning prayers and read the Proverbs of the day with perfect diction. Even when she addressed us during assembly, she spoke with a poise and confidence.
now like to invite Miss May Chu on stage to receive a terrarium from the school's art club members as a token of appreciation for her invaluable contributions to our school. During the art club sessions, the pupils had a lot of fun making fantasy plants out of clay. They learned about the properties of clay as well as sculpting and painting techniques to help them create their fantasy plants. The young artist enjoyed making a mess with clay. However, they also faced some challenges such as trying to glue the parts together. Overall, they were pleased with their creation. The token we are presenting to Miss May Chu today is made up of selected clay artworks that form a terrarium. Your dog is 
supplier. And you. So, what kind of tauge do you want? Small tauge, big tauge, headless, tailless, regular, organic. Here's my name card. Eh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Otherwise, I will have you all thrown into the dungeons. I have summoned the five of you here today because of a very serious problem. The readership of each of your books has hit an all-time low. No one has been reading your books. Why can't you be a bit more exciting? Like that Geronimo Stilton or his sister Thea Stilton? Or at least funny like that wimpy kid? We are going to be banished, aren't we, Your Highness? It is not our fault that fairy tales are going out of fashion these days. Please, Your Majesty, give us another chance. It's not you're helping us in any way. What did you say? Chami, you insolent fool. Ah, Your Majesty, Your Greatness, 
Your Highness, long live Your Majesty, Your Royal Highness. In two weeks' time, you shall be celebrating your hundred and seventy-fourth birthday. How about if you allow us? The five of us, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, the five of us to organize a royal birthday celebration in your honor. Carry on. Yes, yes, we could get the best performers in the world. Dancers, musicians, singers. It will be the grandest celebration that almost fairy tale land has ever seen. Very well. Each one of you is to present at least one performance during my royal birthday banquet. On 13th August, I will once again decide if you shall remain in almost fairy tale land or be forever banished. Bench, bench, bench. Like no other, or will they be banished? This is Jackie Nimble for TNN. Stay tuned for the latest news updates. Prince Charming Sarada Resorts, full and Oh, Jackie may have magic beans in his hands. Goldie Locks might seek help from her friends, the tree bears. Slow white, however, will need more than three years. Thirteen days have passed, only one day to go. How far night has flown by, still nothing to show. In twenty-four hours, they're going to go. Expel to the land that is colder than snow. From the land of the banished, there is no return. Your covers are ripped, your pages are burned. Well, the heroes and heroines escape certain death from the way that things look. Don't hold your breath. Don't you wish your fairy godmother would suddenly appear to make things right? Well, don't hold your breath. She doesn't do that kind of things anymore. She's getting on in years, you know. So, if you want some help, she still fixes anything from broken windows to broken hearts. You'll have to visit her little cottage in the woods and wait your turn just like everyone else. When you knock on the door, I'll let you in and make you comfortable. I'll even serve you a nice cold glass of lemonade. You see, I'm the fairy godmother's assistant. My job used to be quite simple, really, until fairy godmother announced she'll be taking a much-needed vacation. I was scared too. 